Hi, I'm Chef Tony Matassa. Today we're making Caribbean style jerk chicken that we're going to prepare with a whole chicken and we have Epicoa's rotisserie unit. I can't wait to check it out. This seems like a perfect time to do it. We'll start by coating the chicken with some apple cider vinegar inside and out. Set aside and we'll begin preparing a seasoning paste. Start out with one yellow onion, finely chopped. Throw that in a mortar or a food processor if you'd like. Sprinkle with some kosher salt and grind this into a paste. We'll dump the onion paste into a large mixing bowl and begin chopping four cloves of garlic. Again, add this to the mortar. Now add one tablespoon of fresh thyme. Chop up the light green and white portions of six green onions. Going in. Add two tablespoons of finely diced fresh ginger, two diced habanero peppers, leaving the seeds in if you'd like some nice kick. The juice of one lime, and some salt for grinding. Grind all this up into a paste. This is already beginning to smell incredible. Add this paste into your large mixing bowl and whisk everything together to combine. Reserve half of this paste in a separate dish for coating the chicken. First rub your chicken with some olive oil and then coat it down with the paste, inside and out. Use a fork to poke some holes in the skin and set aside while we finish the marinade. One tablespoon of sugar, a teaspoon of black pepper, one tablespoon allspice, two teaspoons kosher salt, a fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a fourth of a teaspoon of fresh grated nutmeg. Squeeze in the juice of two oranges and whisk together to combine. Finally, while whisking, drizzle in half a cup of olive oil. Before adding the chicken, remove half of this marinade if you'd like to use it as a finishing sauce. Put your chicken in the center, coat inside and out, and refrigerate for two to four hours. I'll put together some veggie and pineapple skewers to go with our chicken. If using an Epicoa rotisserie, light the coals in several spots and allow it to preheat about 20 minutes. Once preheated, skewer the chicken and place it on the rotisserie. I'll begin crisping the skin on the lower rotisserie rack near the coals until it has some nice browning on it. After a little nice flame kiss, move it to the upper rotisserie rack to finish cooking. For basting, I simply boil the remaining chicken marinade that we had, and this is gonna make for an awesome basting sauce. Put the pineapple and vegetable skewers on so they can start roasting. The chicken is looking awesome. We'll give it another baste. This is gonna make for a flavorful, spicy outer crust. This baste will go great on the vegetables as well, and we'll try it out as a spicy base for one of the pineapples, and we'll leave the other one for a sweet dessert. Vegetables are ready to come off, and so is the spicy pineapple. I'll baste the remaining pineapple with some butter and sprinkle it with a little brown sugar. When the internal temperature of your chicken reaches 165, you can remove it, drizzle some sauce over the top of your finished chicken, and enjoy. Thank you for watching. To learn more about Epico Rotisseries, please give us a call or check us out online today. I'm Chef Tony Matassa, and remember, at bbqguys.com, we smoke the competition.